After their heroics on board the train from Amsterdam to Paris, the three young Americans, two of them servicemen, appeared together for the first time alongside the U.S. ambassador in Paris. He was trying to charge the weapon, and Alec just hit me on the shoulder to say, let's go, and ran down, tackled him. We hit the ground. Alec came up and uh, grabbed the gun out of his hand while I put him in a chokehold. Emmon Stone's military training initially played no part, he said. It was gut instinct. Only later did his expertise help him give first aid to an injured passenger. I just went over, saw that he was squirting blood out of the left or right side of his neck. And uh, I was going to use my shirt at first, but I realized that wouldn't have worked. So I just stuck uh, two of my fingers in his, the hole, found what I thought to be the artery, pushed down, and the bleeding stopped. Show of hands. His friend, Anthony Sadler, was asked what lesson the episode should give for people around the world. Hiding or sitting back is not going to accomplish anything, and the gunman would have been successful if my friend Spencer had not gotten up. So I just want that lesson to be learned going forward. The three Americans have been invited for a reception tomorrow by the French president, Francois Hollande. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. A gesture of thanks from an admiring and grateful nation. Hugh Schofield, BBC News, Paris.